show you how to make chicken 65 um, this is one of my favorite recipe I always go out with my family and my friends to enjoy this recipe in restaurants so I've tried to make it as uh, near to the recipe as restaurant so if you will like it I've got here about uh, one kilogram of chicken cubes and I've got um, this um, recipe into two parts the first part is the marination and frying the second part is the curry part because I don't like the chicken I in dry form I like it in a curry form so for that um, I'm going to first marinate this chicken with some spice and then I'm going to leave this chicken for two hours to three hours um, you can do it one night before and leave it overnight as well as choice and then I'm going to make a curry paste and I'm going to mix them together first of all what we're going to do is I've got here some ginger garlic paste this is about um, one tablespoon garlic and ginger one tablespoon ginger paste about four tablespoon yogurt plain yogurt this is about one tablespoon black pepper powder one tablespoon paprika powder and one teaspoon red food color I have got about one cup of corn flour and two eggs eaten now first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these spices into my chicken and marinate that for a few hours or minimum two hours you can see the chicken is all marinated with corn flour, eggs, paprika powder, black pepper powder and some red food color some yogurt so I'm going to leave this now in the fridge for about two to three hours or overnight it's your choice now for the sauce I've got here some ingredients I've got here some um, red chili powder, normal red chili powder, some turmeric powder, um, some brown coriander powder, some salt, ginger garlic paste, about um, two tablespoons each, and this is one cup of tomato puree. You can use tomato can or you can puree the tomatoes into puree, it's your choice. And you have got um, and um, you have got some slit green chilies. Now they are quite hot so be careful with that and I've got some white cumin seeds, some curry leaves and this is called uh, pinch pura. Uh, it got mustard seeds in it, it got some ajwain in it, it's got some um, um, fennel seeds in it so you can either use mustard seeds separately or you can use pinch pura it's your choice. See, I've got some oil in a big pan and it's heating up so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add this marinated chicken which I marinated for about 3 hours in the fridge. I'm going to fry this chicken first and then drain it out from the oil. Fry it on high flame for 10 to 15 minutes. At this point I'm going to add a little bit of salt while frying the chicken. I'm not using lots of oil. I'm not deep frying this because otherwise it gets really oily. So I'm trying to make it in a healthier way. Healthier and tastier. And even after frying this, I'm going to drain the oil. Extra oil and use the same oil for the sauce. Chicken is quite fried. Now I'm going to just try to drain as much as oil I can. I'm going to put on the drainer again just to get the extra oil again I'm going to use the same oil to make the sauce so drain the chicken out it's not completely cooked this chicken is half cooked at this point now I've taken the chicken out and this is the same oil I've got some masala left now I'm going to do it I'm going to put all these ingredients first in it and I'm going to just put this in there and as the seeds popping out I'm going to add ginger garlic paste now add ginger garlic paste on high flame and add these red chili powder and some turmeric powder salt and some brown coriander powder and 
You can add a little bit of onions to it if you like to, but um, I think I can manage without onions. If it's your choice. And the masala is fried, so I'm going to add this tomato puree. Now I'm going to fry the tomato puree with it now. This tomato puree is from can, so you can make tomato puree from fresh tomatoes as well if you wish. It's your choice. Now fry these tomatoes with masala. Fry the masala on high flame. About five minutes. 